Nashville is planning a citywide vigil tonight to mourn the victims of the deadly mass shooting that happened on Monday. Three children and three adults were murdered after the gunman broke into the private school and opened fire. And Tennessee's Governor Bill Lee said he and his wife were friends with two of those victims. CBS's Christian Benavides has the latest from Nashville. Members of the grief-stricken community paid their respects at the growing memorial to the victims of the Nashville school shooting Wednesday morning. At a church in Washington, Missouri, Tuesday night, where the grandparents of Evelyn Dykehouse are parishioners, a special mass was held for the nine-year-old victim. Evelyn was a shining light, and she will be greatly missed by all. Evelyn was one of three nine-year-old students killed in Monday's rampage, along with three staffers, including custodian Mike Hill. Everybody loved Mike. Mike knew the, knew the kids in the school, knew their names, and took a very personal interest in them. Tennessee Governor Bill Lee revealed two other victims, head of the Covenant School, Catherine Coons, and teacher Cynthia Peak, were close to him and his wife. Cindy was supposed to come over to have dinner with Maria last night after she filled in as a substitute teacher yesterday at Covenant. The city of Nashville is planning a vigil tonight for the victims as the investigation into the shooting continues. Nashville's police chief says the shooter had legally purchased seven guns. Three of them were used in Monday's attack. Police also say the shooter was under doctor's care for an emotional disorder. Avariana Patton knew the shooter from middle school. She says she received a message warning something bad was about to happen. I screenshotted to my dad and I was like, uh, do I need to say something? He takes back yes. She alerted law enforcement, but it was too late. Cristian Benavides, CBS News, Nashville.